you guys, it's Elle and happy Skincare Sunday. I am so glad that you joined me today. We are gonna be talking all about the good and the bad alcohols in skincare. So today is going to be an ingredient Sunday. So before we go on, hit that subscribe button, give me a little thumbs up, and let's do it. All right, so this is a topic that has been asked of me a lot, and it is kind of a very complicated topic because there's really hard to make an exhaustive list of the bad alcohols out there because they're coming out with new ones all the time. So make sure you do your research after watching this video, look at your products, and I also wanna state that I am not the best. We all fall, we all, you know, don't have the best ingredients in all of our products. There's just some products that we might love, um, but they do have certain types of alcohols in them. Um, there is a product that I've been using recently by SkinCeuticals. It's the hyaluronic acid one, and there's not a great alcohol in there. Um, that's pretty higher up on the ingredient list. I love that product. Now, Will I be repurchasing it? Probably not, but it is so good. So I just want to preface this whole thing by saying I am not perfect. I don't strive to be, but I do strive to be better every single day with each product line that I try. So just putting that out there, that this is just information for you guys to start looking at your products, to really get an education on these, and uh, you can take it for what it's worth and see, you know, how you feel about it and what products you want to continue and discontinue using. All right, so let's get into what alcohols are, okay? I have a bunch of notes, like on my phone, my papers, so that's where I'll be looking. So alcohols refer to a group of organic compounds with a vast range of forms and uses in cosmetics and in skincare and other types of products. Um, so they're obviously in makeup as well as skincare. Um, there are good alcohols and there are bad alcohols. And that's what the biggest difference here that I wanna draw your attention on because some people are like, oh, that has alcohol in it because it has the word alcohol afterwards. Some of them are actually good for our skin or benign. Um, obviously some of them are not so great, <laughs> which we will go through. Um, for skin, there are good alcohols and bad alcohols, which we just said, um, corresponding to the molecular weight. So the lower the molecular weight is not good for your skin, higher is fine for your skin. So for example, these have, um, so ones that have higher molecular weights have more emollient properties and the ones that lower have more of like a, they're like cleansing agents, like isopropyl um, alcohol. And I also will say that I'm going to butcher names here of these ingredients. And as I say the ingredients, I will put them up on the screen so you guys can sound them out and pronounce them for yourselves because I am not amazing at pronunciation of these words, okay? Just want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're also benign forms of alcohols, which is like glycols. Um, they're used as humectants, which means they're, um, they attract water into the skin and they help to hydrate and deliver ingredients into skin, um, on the, you know, the utmost layer. So on the, on the top layers of the skin. So what you're looking for is when we're talking about bad alcohols and what they do to the skin is that you're looking for the bad alcohol names to be within the first six ingredients. If they're in the first six ingredients on the ingredient list, that is basically the more active ingredients, okay? So that's where you're looking. If they're, if they're after that, they're in such low quantities that sometimes they're not the biggest deal. Um, so... These are the names of the bad alcohols. Um, SD alcohol, dentured alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, as well as ethanol, um, ethanol, ethanol alcohol, and methanol alcohol, and benzyl alcohol. And again, I'll write those up on the screen so you guys can take a little screenshot of that. Now, reason why we wanna care about alcohols in our products is for several reasons. So um, a lot of people with oilier or combination skin really love products with alcohol in them because what it does is it makes products dry really quickly and it leaves the skin feeling kind of that squeaky clean feeling. Now, what it's doing is, those are the short term you know, benefits, but the long-term benefits are so epic and they actually can be really detrimental to the skin. So when you put those type of alcohols um, on the skin in high concentrations within those first six ingredients, this is what happens to the skin. So it actually aggravates the skin. It can actually um, exacerbate acneic skin, so make your acne worse. 
Uh, it can lead to severe dryness or dry patches. So if you have dry patches, you might want to look at the ingredients in your products. Um, it actually erodes the surface of the skin. Um, it strains the skin and how, and it, it actually um, inhibits the skin from renewing and regenerating itself. Um, so it really does not great things, especially for anti-aging skin as well. And it just basically weakens the surface of the skin. So those bad alcohols are just really not amazing and really lead to really awful skin complications when you've been using them over time. Um, they also, too, I want to make this uh, really clear, is some people have have things like uh, really sensitive skin or rosacea or eczema. This is going to be a really big ingredient to look at in your products because it can really sensitize the skin. So what that means is it'll make everything that you have worse, all right? So really make sure if you have those skin concerns, you're looking at the ingredient list on your products. There is a misconception out there that alcohols will help like things like retinol and vitamin C go deeper into the skin because what it's doing is it's uh, stripping the outermost lipid barrier so things can penetrate the skin more effectively. Now, however, that might be true, but the way that it degrades the skin and does such awful things for our skin is not worth it. There are much more, uh, you know, much more um, sophisticated and new technologies to you know push product deeper into the skin without using a stripping alcohol so if anybody tells you that that's just my two cents and that's how I feel about um, people saying that alcohol really helps drive ingredients deeper into the skin so actually there was a study done in 2003 and uh, it said basically alcohols like SD and dentured immediately harm the skin starting a chain of reaction of damage that continues long after it has evaporated off the skin. So this study published found that with regular exposure to alcohol-based products, cleansing becomes a damaging ordeal. So skin is no longer to keep no longer able to keep water and cleansing agents from penetrating into it, thus further eroding the surface layers. So basically what that means is now if you use it for a prolonged time, it actually now your cleansing uh, actually becomes an issue because it now allows the cleansers and the actual water because there's chlorine in our waters and all of that stuff to erode the skin even further. So not such a, a good idea. Um, it also destroys the substances in skin, so our, uh, uh, our uh, lipid barrier on top of our skin, that helps naturally soothe and defend it against visible effects of environmental damage. So that's where you'll see a lot of hyperpigmentation and things like that. I hope that that makes sense for what happens and why we don't want to use those bad alcohols in our skincare. But there are some good alcohols and they are called fatty alcohols. And these are non-irritating to the skin and can definitely benefit skin, especially drier skin. So you want to look for the words in its cetyl. And so it's S, uh, sorry, it's C-E-T-Y-L. Um, there's another one called sterol which is S-T-E-A-R-Y-L and um, ceterol alcohol, which again, I'll write that all down here. And in small amounts, it's great for dry skin. It really helps lubricate the skin, moisturize the skin. Um, it also gives a very pleasant texture to the, to the actual product that you're using. And then it also helps keep the product stable. So there are alcohols that really help products remain um, uh, stable and in the best shape that can be delivered onto your skin. So it's kind of used as a preservative, um, but that is not detrimental to the skin. Now, again, there are some few other um, okay alcohols for the skin, but these are the main ones that you'll see throughout when you're looking at the ingredient list. So I hope that this makes sense and I hope that this has empowered you to look through your products, maybe see if you're having some sort of skin concerns that you just cannot figure out why they are happening and maybe look a little bit deeper into the ingredients and maybe uh, these types of alcohols will be exacerbating those skin care concern or those skin concerns. All right. So thank you guys so much for being here and uh, happy Mother's Day if you guys are watching this on Mother's Day and I will see you guys on the next one. I love you guys so much. Let's love for me to you. Bye guys.